Hello everyone, welcome back. So in this lecture, we are going to solve one problem. So in this problem, we are given with this figure and we need to derive the expression for equivalent spring constant that relates the applied force F to resulting displacement X of the system shown in the figure below. Assume the displacement of the link to be small. So this is problem with given to us. And if we draw the figure, this is O point, right? This is the pivot. And this is the A point where the spring one is attached, right? So this is the A point and this is B point where spring 2 is attached and this is C point where the spring 3rd is attached and the F is applied in this direction, right? So first of all, we can draw this diagram and we can say that let the link O, A, B, C this is the link O, A, B, C undergo a small angular displacement theta. So this is the angular displacement theta, right? Now we can say the spring forces. So spring forces will be acted in this manner. So this is the spring force applied by first spring and this is the spring force applied by second spring at the point B and this is the K3X is the spring force applied in this direction, right? And this is the external force F. So as we know that this system is under the equilibrium under the influence of all these forces. So we can say in equilibrium of moments about the pivot point O gives. So you can write the equation, the equilibrium of moments about the Pivot point O gives. So here we can write this is the K1X1, this is the K2X2, and this is the K3X, right? So this is the X is given to us. We are giving in this direction, this is X displacement, right? So this displacement is X, let's say. So we can write the K X1, X1 over L13 or you can say L by 3 is equal to X over L, right? So in form of X, we can find out X1. So from here you can give X1 is equal to X by L multiplied by L by 3. So you can say X by 3, right? And similarly, we can find out X2. So we can write X2 over 2L by 3 from symmetric triangle. We can write this is, let's say X2 and this is X. So this can be written as x over l again you can write x2 is equal to x over l multiplied by 2l by 3 so this can be written as 2x by 3 right so now we can write the moment equation so the moment equation is minus k1 multiplied by k1 x1 multiplied by l by 3 so we can write this is k1 x1 minus l by 3 minus 
k2 x2 and this is 12 by 3 and minus k3 x and multiplied by l and plus f multiplied by l is equal to 0 so now we can replace x1 and x2 so x1 is x by 3 we can write so this can be written as minus k1 multiplied by x by 3 multiplied by l by 3 minus k2 and x2 as we know that this is 2x by 3 so this is 2x by 3 multiplied by 2l by 3 and minus k3 x multiplied by l plus f multiplied by l equals to 0 or we can write f equals to k1 by 3 multiplied by one by three and minus k two multiplied by this is two by three multiplied by two by three and plus k three. multiplied by x and this l will get cancelled out right so from here we can write f equals to k1 by 9 plus 4k2 by 9 plus k3 multiplied by x so now we can say if k equivalent you can write k equivalent denotes the equivalent stiffness spring of system things along the direction of f at point c we have f equals to k equivalent multiplied by x right so from here these two equations let's say this is equation 1 and this is equation 2 so we can write equations 1 and 2 give k equivalent equals to k1 by 9 plus 4 k2 by 3 plus k3 and as we know that this is given as k1 equals to k and k2 equals to 2k and k3 equals to 3k so we can write this is k over 9 plus 4 multiplied by 2k over this is also 9 and this is 3k so now from here we can write this is 9 and k plus 8k plus 27k right so this becomes 9 and 2736 k divided by 9 or we can say this is 4k so k equivalent is equals to 4k so this is how you can find out the k equivalent of the given system so thank you